you know who JaVale's mom is? I do. Yeah, she was a famous, very famous basketball yeah. player, All-American at USC. Yep. And so I went to UCLA like you, so we got to balance the scales a little bit. Right, right, right. Um, how you feeling? First of all, I know you had your knee scoped five, six mm -hmm. weeks ago. How's it feel? I uh, finally got cleared, so I'm feeling good. All right. Now, so you got cleared, and that means you can do anything. Uh, definitely. You know, I can finally start, you know, playing basketball again. Uh, now it's all about just getting the strength back and being able to go out there and play 5-on-5 five five without getting hurt. Um, so last year, you were able to put up pretty impressive numbers as a guy who wasn't even an adult. <laughs> You're, you should have been a sophomore at UCLA um, but you missed 32 games and I know Magic and Rob talked to you in your exit meeting about getting more durable looking at you it just seems to me that you're bigger that you've added muscle was that part of the reason why uh, definitely you know this uh, weight room was a big big part this summer especially since I couldn't play basketball so right. I was in there were you worried about mess were you worried about messing up because sometimes good shooters don't like to <laughs> do that well and I didn't shoot very good last year there so you I, didn't have that I, I walked into that <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but were you worried about did you have did you shoot after you lifted just to keep your shot stroked um, clean or you really couldn't I could do free mean, throws right? that's yeah. about it though but um yeah um but um back on the court you know last week and uh, my shot is light you know, cleaner now because I think I'm stronger, so it gets to the rim like. Yeah, describe what you've done with your shot now. It's it's different it looks than better. it was. It, yeah, looks, it, it looks better. I haven't really changed it. That's no, the thing. not that you're, but, um, your old shot. Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks a lot better just because I feel like I'm just stronger. You know, I ain't got to fling it. You know, with both hands no more. I can you know kind of shoot it more normal now. Uh, Lonzo, at UCLA, people forget you shot 50 percent from the field and 40 percent from three. At least at the start of last season, those numbers came way down. Mm. Other than the fact that the three-point line's farther back, it's three, four feet farther back, why do you think? Why do you think you struggle with your shot early, and then why do you think you were able to find it late? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, like I said, it was, you up and, yeah, it. it was up and down year. You know, just had to shoot, my, yeah, pretty much shoot my way through it. And, um, you know, just keep, I think confidence is a big, big key. You know, if you know, think it's going in, go in there, it's probably going to go in. Uh, you know, a year ago, it, it felt like there was a lot of pressure on you uh, coming out of school you know being picked where you were at the lakers what's it feel like now it's sec it's second year uh obviously you've got a a, a teammate in lebron james what what does it feel like for you yeah uh, he definitely took you know all the spotlight so you know that's <laughs> kind of him. so now it's just my job to make his life a lot easier you know the best ways i can but um yeah that's, he's in la now so you know he's a man what's that like for you though obviously uh growing up you were a California kid, so you saw a lot more of Kobe than you did of LeBron, but LeBron's generally regarded as the best player in the world. Your thoughts on playing with the best player in the world? How does that affect yeah, your... Yeah, everybody asks me that. You know, I've, I've, I always say he's my favorite player growing up, so now the fact that I, I work with him Is that because, day, like you, he puts up numbers across the board? Yeah, when he's done, he's going to be top five in points I mean, assists. Everybody right likes Kobe, you know, you know, obviously he was Laker, but um, I feel like my game is more like LeBron's, you know, just because he does try to affect you know, will not try. He does <laughs> affect every category as you can. Uh, what's your uh, relationship with uh, Rajon Rondo like? Obviously, he's uh, another point guard. Mm -hmm. He's going to be on this roster. What, uh, what, what are your conversations with him like? Uh, he's already. He's already expressed to me, you know, anything I need, I can come to him. So, you know, he's been very helping. Uh, we had a film session that was amazing. And uh, Ray, Ray John pretty much just, you know, wants to do whatever he can to help me get better. So I'm glad you brought up the film session because I'm curious. What is something that a guy like Rondo would notice that maybe you wouldn't, or even worse, Mason and I wouldn't. What's something that he would notice? He would. I, I, would, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, what's something that he would film with him, yeah, uh, he broke down. Literally, like, anything you can break down, he broke it down. It's so. like he notices people's feet, feet position. He didn't notice if your shoes and tie. I mean, it was crazy, you know, just listening to him. But um, just the past angles, like how he sees a play happening before it, you know, even happens. It's crazy. Um, as you, uh, you've got a lot of different players coming from all over a lot of different pieces now on this team how do you view this sort of transition to getting everybody on the same page uh, i think that's the training counts for and then practice is going to be a big part of it uh, we have a lot of competitive guys on this team so um you know practices are going to be definitely intense and that's how you build chemistry going at each other every day who is more confident kuzma or hart <laughs> Cools. <laughs> <laughs> throw Lance in there too, though. Yeah, Lance. Lance. <laughs> yeah, Lance. And and now you've got this mix of old guys and young guys. Lucas already told us. Mm -hmm. Next couple of days, he's throwing all you young guys <laughs> up against all these uh, yeah. these old guys. But how do you, how do you think that blends? Do you think it's important to mix? old with young? Do you, do you think Luke maybe keeps the old guys the young guys together? Do you not know? Or how do you think this this all fits together? Uh, well, I've never been on a team like this, but um, just in my opinion, I think it's going to be great. You know, because you have the old guys that have been in the league, they know the ropes, they can help us, and then you have the young, talented guys that are trying to find their way and um, just coming together, you know, for one common goal. Uh, there, uh, sorry, I was just, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you something I asked Brandon, which is, 
you know, you sat here a year ago on Media Day. How is how are you different as a person today, one year later? Uh, definitely older. You know, uh, <laughs> I look at life a little different now that I have, you know, a family, have my daughter and stuff. So, you know, that's a big thing. And, um, you know, just more confident, more poised. And um, obviously, you know, we got a better team. So. Um, Lonzo, last thing for me, there is a video running around the Internet of you getting on your brothers, particularly LaMelo, to wake up and play harder. Mm -hmm. Um, give us an update on them. How are they? Do, did they listen to you? I guess is, is my is my question. Yeah. Are you happy with how they responded to your uh, to your diatribe? Yeah, I got to talk to Melo a lot more than Jello just because he's younger and you know he hit fame very early. So right, it gets to his head sometimes. But um, he has a lot of talent. You know, if he keeps a good head on his shoulders, he's gonna be fine. So he's listening. For the most part, yeah. you know, you still gotta you know you gotta reinforce the time and time with him. But um, he gets it. Did you ever make it to Lithuania? I did. You did? Yeah, I met out there for like a week. And, uh, you know, um, How was it? It was a long week. Makes you happy, <laughs> long week. Makes you happy to be an NBA player? <laughs> very happy to be out here. <laughs> long week. Hey, well, we're, well I'm, I'm very, the best news of all is that your knee is good yeah. and yeah. that you're feeling better. And uh, and I, I think this, I think LeBron coming to the Lakers, I've said this before, and I'll let you have the last word on it, that what people don't realize is, I said it to Ingram, last year when you young guys played, the best defender on the other team always took Brandon or you or Kuz. Mm -hmm. Kuz got hot in Houston and they tried to lock him up. Yeah. Now that guy's taking LeBron. <laughs> so right. so that opens it up for all you guys, right? I mean, LeBron's gonna open up everything, you know, for right. everybody. Just the way he plays, you know, um, when he gets to the rim, you know, everything's gonna be spaced because you got you gotta help. You know, right. no, no one person can, you know, stay in front of him. So you know, open up for everybody. Now it's just our job, you know, hit the shot. All right. Cool. Glad your knee's feeling better. Thank, Thank you for doing Lonzo, it, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Uh, there's Lonzo Ball, and uh, the best news is, the breaking news is, his knee's not bugging, yeah. so he's uh, green light go. Yeah, he says uh, cleared.